Would the following passenger please make yourself known to any crew member? Fook Beach. Hello, my friend. It's the Fook Beach. That's me. Fook Beach. Miss, I think you're in my seat. Oh, yes, uh, I need the extra leg space because of a medical condition. Do you mind sitting in my seat, 30B? I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm actually traveling with my family and we reserve the seat. I have a medical condition. I need the seat. Sir, I need you to keep moving. You're holding up the boarding process. I'm so sorry, but this lady's in my seat. Ma'am, can you please go back to your assigned seat? I will help you after. You want me to be in pain for the entire flight? You know what? It's okay. It's okay. I I'll go sit in your seat. Sir, that was really sweet of you. You know you didn't have to do that, right? Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Here, enjoy these first class goodies. Let me know if you need anything else, okay? Could I get one of those snacks? No. Ma'am, this area is for first class passengers only. Oh, I, I just want to use the toilet. The other one has a long line. I'm so sorry about that. They actually pay a premium so that they can use those toilets. Oh, okay. I say hello to my friend in first class. Mm? Ma'am, I know you're the same lady from before, just with glasses and with probably one of the worst Korean accents I've ever heard. Jeez, I'm kidding. Oh, I hurt my back. I need to lie down. Can you let me lie down in there? You dropped a 20. Where? Ma'am, please keep your mask on for the entire flight. I recently had knee surgery, so I'm exempt from wearing a mask. Sorry, what? I had a knee surgery. Do you mind showing me where your knee is? What kind of stupid question is that? I just want to confirm something here. Oh, thank God. I thought you didn't know what a knee was. That is perfectly fine, ma'am. Your knee is exempt from wearing a mask, but your face still needs one. Hello, welcome aboard. Yes, I know, sweetheart. That's why you need to study in school so you don't end up like that. She's right, sweetie. Make sure you study hard so you don't fly economy like your mom. Excuse me, ma'am. What are you doing? I'm looking for the toilet. That is the door to the outside. The toilet is right over here. Thank you. Uh, that's a wall. Uh, the toilet is a door next to it. Oh. No, no. You, you push. Push the door. No. Push. It won't open. I got it for you. Go ahead. Help, I'm stuck. Hi, can I get a sandwich, please? That'll be $10, please. Thank you. Hi, can I help you with anything? Oh, no, I'm just waiting for the toilet. Just let me know if you need anything, okay? Oh, that's so sweet. I'm actually crew. Don't worry about it. Wait, your crew? Did you pay for lunch? Yeah, I had the sandwich. It was pretty good. No, mm -mm. no, you do not pay on my flight, okay? Here, here's $10. Thank you so much. I would love to be a flight attendant one day. Ew, why? They're like servants in the sky. All they do is give you like peanuts and stuff. Really? <coughs> oh my God, you're choking. Help! Help! You called for me, miss. My friend, my friend is choking. Please do something. Oh, I see. Um, peanuts? Oh, 저녁 시간이네. 야, 엄마, 고기 없는 걸 시켜줘. 엄마, you know how to speak English. Can you order it yourself? 영어 잘 못하니까 그렇지. How do you order when I'm not around then? 기집애. 알았어, 엄마 갈게. Oh, hello. Hello, what would you like for your meal? Please, I have a rice and no chicken. I want to. Yeah, yeah, chicken. Where are you? Do you just have anything that doesn't have any meat in it? Oh, are you a vegetarian? No, I am Korean. Okay, mom. <clears throat> Excuse me, you so handsome boy. Thank you. You single? 
Uh, yes. 아이고 잘 됐어. My daughter. She single too. She okay. Sweetheart, uh, you shouldn't be here. Where are your parents? Annyeonghaseyo, <gasps> pretty lady. Pretty. Oh, oh, you're so sweet. Oh, you want snacks. Take whatever you want and let's go find your parents. Excuse me, ma'am. Sorry, I found your daughter over in first class and I gave her some snacks. I hope that's okay. Thank you very much. I said no ice. Seriously, you have one job to serve and you can't even get that right. My God. How are you still employed? My apologies. I'll make you another one. And wait another 15 minutes for you to take your time to bring it to me? Forget it. Whatever. Machi, my daughter, oh, say sorry. I'm sorry. What the? <sighs> Hi, sweetie. Yes, Amma. Hello, welcome aboard. Hi. I want to be flight attendant. You do? Yes, because flight attendant so nice and fun and pretty and funny. I have cookie for you. You're so cute. Hold on a second, okay? So we're actually overbooked in economy and we were looking for some passengers to upgrade to business. Would you like to go? <gasps> wow, thank you very much. Jeannie, good job. Yeah. Oh, mm-mm. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, I'm not sitting next to a child for four hours. It's okay, no problem. She very, very good girl. Uh, no cry. I speak English? Uh, you need to move me. Ma'am, this is a full flight. Can you please sit down? Jinia. Yes, Amma. 저번에 엄마가 하지 말라고 했던 거 지금 해도 돼. Uh, excuse me, what are you doing? I'm making ice towels. <gasps> no, 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 no. The standard is hot towels. You cannot give ice towels. It's like a thousand degrees outside. If I give them a hot towel, they're gonna throw it at me. I am the senior on this flight. Follow my orders. Okay. Would you like a towel? Thank you. Oh, this towel's hot. It's like a thousand degrees in here. What the hell's the matter with you? Idiot. The passengers are angry. I just had a great idea. Let's use ice towels. Everybody, ice towels. Bitch. Excuse me, when can I smoke? I'm sorry, sir. There's no smoking on board. No, when the no smoking sign turns off, I can smoke. No, there's no smoking on board. Well, I've smoked before. You mean like 20 years ago? Fine. Then why don't you open the doors and let me smoke outside? Okay. Mmm. Tastes good. What is it? Could it get a Yeah, I like it. Arasa. <laughs> Oma, I can't eat all this. I think you're in my seat. Do you mind switching seats with my wife? We're on our honeymoon and we want to sit together. So, so that's more. Okay, where's your wife's seat? That's my seat. Thank you. That's an economy. No, I paid for business. Wow. We're on a honeymoon. Can't you show some kindness? Can I please have my seat? What seems to be the problem here? This guy said he was gonna switch seats and now he's taking it back. I never said I was gonna switch. He said he would switch with me. I actually took a look into your ticket and found out that you got a free upgrade. And now you're trying to steal this passenger's seat. So I'm going to give you two options. One, both of you go to economy. Or two, get off this flight. Rather on your own or through security. No, we're not moving. Security, can't do this, I'm gonna steal! Have a nice day. Hey, are you okay? We 
Which seat was it? Sir, you're trash. What did you say? You're trash. Can't talk to me like that. In your hand. Oh. Hello, something to drink? I'll have a double hazelnut latte non-fat, just a little bit of foam. Actually, wait. No foam. I'm sorry, we don't serve that on board, but we do have drip coffee. Well, it seems like she got something. That's a Starbucks? I'm fine with Starbucks. No, she probably got that at the airport. I don't care where you get it from. I don't know how to make this clear to you, but the Starbucks is on the ground at the airport. We're currently in the sky with the birds. Are you calling me a bird? Huh? Excuse me, miss? Excuse me, miss? What? Your son keeps kicking the chair in front of him? And? And it's irritating for the passenger sitting there. Okay, so what do you want me to do about it? Could you tell your son to stop, please? Stop kicking the chair. Miss, he's still doing it? Look, if you want him to stop, you tell him. You want me to educate your child? Whatever, I don't care. I'm just trying to watch a movie. Hi, sweetheart. Do you and your mom want to go skydiving? No. Uh, hello? There must be some mistake. I always sit in first class, and this is economy. Oh, let me see. Um, yeah, it does say you booked an economy ticket, so that's correct. I don't book my own ticket. You should follow up with the person that booked your ticket then. Do you not know who my husband's best friend's son is? I really don't. He's the CEO of No One Gives a Shit Incorporated. I, uh... John Smith? Ma'am, I don't know who he is. <laughs> they are Breckmint? I left my book back at the airport. Sorry to hear that. Maybe you can call Lost and Found after we land. Can't you just turn the plane around? Oh, I'm sorry, we can't. We only do that for medical or other emergencies. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> I can't breathe. I think I'm allergic to these crackers. <clears throat> Mary, can you grab the EpiPen? <clears throat> What's up? Uh, EpiPen. Don't worry, miss. It's just a small needle that we jab into the side of your thigh and it'll help you with your allergic reaction. <coughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm good. Hello, lost and found? Yeah, um, I found a baby on the plane. I'm here. You forgot your baby? Forget? No! I left him there on purpose so that I can take my bags to the gate because I can't carry both at the same time. So you left your baby? Yeah. So you left your baby alone? Yes. So you left your baby alone without telling anyone? How many times do I have to say yes? Are you stupid or something? Are you? Can I please get a diaper for my baby? Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have diapers on board. You have no diapers? What am I going to do? Um, well, I see another family over there with a baby. I can ask them for you. Maybe they can spare one. You know what? Forget it. I'll figure it out, okay? Can I just get the baby formula now so I can feed my baby? He's getting really hungry. Oh, we, we don't carry baby formula. What? It says meals are included in this flight. Yes, uh, regular meals. What am I supposed to do now? I think we're over at Walmart right now. I can drop you off. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 22, let's go! At restaurants and hotels, people usually tip for great service. So do cabin crew get tips for great service? For Emirates, we're not allowed to receive cash tips. However, we do receive gifts from time to time. I've personally received lots of snacks, perfume, and even a gold bracelet. However, there are exceptions to this no cash tip rule. A colleague of mine had the chance to fly with Sheikh Ahmed bin Said Al Maktoum and his family. He ended up tipping the captain, first officer, and the purser, the equivalent of $5,000 USD each, as well as each of the cabin crew, $1,000 cash. And of course they can accept this because, well, he owns Emirates. There's not enough space in this middle seat. Can you please move me? Oh, I'm sorry, miss. We're actually fully booked in economy. Um, uh, unless uh, any of these passengers want to switch with you. I asked. They said no. I don't understand why I wasn't given a choice. 
Well, most likely these passengers booked early, so they got to choose their seats first. I see a seat over there in business. Can I just sit there? Uh, you need to pay for business class? You know what? Just get me someone in charge. Okay, uh, let me just go get the purser. Is there a problem here? <laughs> that flight attendant over there was just so mean to me. She was so rude. I was like, told her I was claustrophobic and I just asked if I could sit over business and she said no. And she was just so mean to me. And I just... Are you rubbing your eyes with an onion? You're scared of flying? Yeah, it gives me anxiety. <laughs> well then just don't be scared. What the? <laughs> you guys, he's scared of flying. What was? <laughs> it's so easy. Just like, don't be scared anymore. <laughs> Would you care for any peanuts? Oh, no, I'm allergic to peanuts. Oh, well maybe if you just keep eating it, you'll get used to it. Attention all passengers, due to bad weather, our flight has been delayed until further notice. She's a liar. Pardon me? I just spoke to my husband in LA and it's clear skies, sunny. Yes, but there's still over 2,500 miles of weather we need to fly through. That makes no sense. It's sunny here, sunny there. As we fly from New York to LA, there's different types of weather in between. It still doesn't make any sense. I don't know what to say to that, I really don't. I'm so sorry about this, but we've just run out of chicken, so we just have beef left. Oh, of course, always me. It's always when it's my turn. I'm so sorry, it's really hard to predict what people want, and unfortunately, everybody wanted chicken today. You need to learn how to do your job properly. Like, how is this fair? How about for the next meal service? I'll let you choose first. Is there chicken in the next meal? No, it's a different meal. Oh my God. You can have my chicken, I didn't touch it. I'll just take the beef. Sir, that's so kind of you. You didn't have to do that. Finally, one decent person on this plane. Excuse me, sir. They actually had some uh, leftover chicken in first class, so I just brought you some. Hello? Why didn't you offer that to me before? Oh, well, that's because you're a bitch. Did you finish with your beverage service? Yes, I did exactly what you said. I served coffee and tea along with uh, cream, fresh milk, sugar, and swolled up. We don't have fresh milk. No, we do. I found some in the fridge. From the fr Oh my god, that's breast milk! Cows have breasts? Excuse me, may I please get the milk I stored here earlier? Jinia! <laughs> Yama? Yeah, okay, sure. Oh my god, 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 I'm not even going to ask you what this is for. But I am going to ask you, what the hell is this? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. But, oh my, this one is the worst. This doesn't look like anything to you? Oh it looks like a gochu! Oh, shut up. 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 Oh, No. Excuse me, sorry to bother you, but uh, I was just wondering if if you had anywhere that had maybe two empty seats. The seat is um, it's quite small and just it's just really uncomfortable. Oh my goodness, I know these seats are tiny. Um, I don't actually see two free seats, but <coughs> but I know there's an empty seat in business. There's a bit more space there. I'll move you there. Hey, can I sit there too? No. This is my second time asking for a refill. I just need to serve the rest of the passengers on the first drinks, and then right after I'm done, I'll bring you your refill. I don't care. Just get me my drink within the next five minutes, or I'm filing a formal complaint. Hey, lady. Psst, hey, you're up. Shh, please, it's your turn. I don't think so. I'll give you 15 minutes of my break. Please, I'll give you 30 minutes of mine. Loser does it? Fine. One, two, three, three! Yes! Mother Welcome aboard flight 813 with service to Vancouver. Oh my god, that passenger in my section is so annoying. Why, what's up? Every single time I bring her an item, she asks for something else. It's like within the last five minutes, I brought her 10 items. Hello, there's like other passengers on here. Why can't you ask for it all at once? Oh, sweetie, you need to be slower. That way, 
They know you take forever, so they're going to ask for it all at once. Sandra, you're the only Korean speaker on board today, so you get to do the announcements. Well, I'm not good with the announcements. You do speak Korean, right? Yes. Excellent! It's really easy, dear. You just need to read this. Okay. Yabus, hey yo! Ni hao. 안녕하세요. I'm Korean. That's how you say hello. Ni hao is Mandarin. I'm Korean, so it's 안녕하세요. Whatever, lady. Ni hao. Oh, you were making fun of me! <laughs> that was a good one. That was funny. What is a word in your foreign language that just sounds insanely inappropriate to English speakers? There's a super common word in Korean that if I actually say this, I'll probably get banned. So let me just split it up a bit. Ni ga. We are not saying the N-word. We're saying you. 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 I've heard of so many Korean rappers and K-pop artists get so much hate for using that word. They're just saying you. Can you please stop coming after us for using that word? Because, like, it's not our fault. Like, we didn't create the language! Could you teach me how to apologize to a Korean passenger again? Of course! How sorry are you? What do you mean? Like, there's different levels of sorry. For example... I'm sorry, but not really. I'm sorry. I'm so 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 sorry. Please forgive me. Sorry, boss. I'm sorry I hit you with my car and when you got amnesia that I pretended I was you and stole your money and lover. How I calculate the best seat in economy, let's go! The first elimination should be a no-brainer. The middle seats suck. So let's get rid of all the middle seats. The back rows of every section do not recline. So let's get rid of those seats. I'm not a tall person. I don't need these emergency or bulkhead seats. There's also nowhere to store your personal belongings there. They also have those flimsy TVs and tables. For those reasons, I scrapped those seats. Due to weight distribution of the plane, they always fill up the first section first before the last section, which means you have a higher chance of getting a full row or an extra seat in the back. And for those odds, I prefer the back. Seats near toilets stink like shit. I recommend a five row buffer just to be in the safe zone. But let's just eliminate those rows. Next one is personal preference. I hate asking someone else to move just so I can use a toilet. For that, I eliminate all window. And because meals are typically served front to back, you have a higher chance of getting your meal choice at the front. So now due to process of elimination, we now have my ideal seat choice, which is seat 49, C, D, F, or G. Lindsay! What? Your lipstick needs to be red. Ew, no, I look gross in red. You know it's company standard, change it or you're off this flight. Ugh, fine. Someone give me a red lipstick. Someone give me a red lipstick. Passenger 40C was like rude to me for no reason. Hey, I know, this job is hard sometimes. Is this funny to you, Lindsay? Hey, I just want to say sorry for being rude to you earlier. What did you say to him? I just told him if he doesn't apologize to you for being an ass, and I'm going to share this photo of him that I found with his pants down on every single screen on this plane. But that's not true. He doesn't know that. Ma'am, do you mind just sitting one row behind? You're on a wheelchair accessible seat, and we would really appreciate it. Yeah, no thanks. As you can see, there is a wheelchair passenger who would really appreciate that seat. You should have reserved the seat then. If you move me over to business class, I'll move. What a wonderful idea. Fantastic. Sir, I'm just going to bring you up to business. Hey, uh, mom's looking for you. Huh? Oh, shit. What did you do? Looking for a report card. Right. You're dead. Yeah, you did. Report card is out. Hurry up. Mine's in my jacket. Mm. 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 professional Mama, you literally failed everything! Mine's on the table. Good, 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 good. Oh? No nail but What? Edra, what's a bamboga? Yeah! Cool. Jenny Park. Try this kimchi. In this quad, I can't eat spicy food. 
It's not spicy. That looks really spicy. This kimchi is good for you. You get no GGs and no Kobe. Amma, stop making stuff up. Oh, I take five hours to make this kimchi. I spent $2,000 for kimchi bridge. And one month marinade and you don't try? Okay, I'll try it. You don't have to eat that. No, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, wait, eh? This is honestly the worst job. The things that we have to do, seriously. Like, then quit. I need to pay the bills, okay? Then stop complaining, because it's annoying. You hate this job too, you never do anything. I love my job, I just choose not to work. What? <laughs> High five! She's driving everyone crazy and she won't listen. Like, where are her parents? <laughs> Ugh, I got it. Hey, kid, want some chocolate? Follow me. You want some? You want some? Yummy. Almost there. So you open the can, pour it in the glass, and then you give it to the passenger. Any questions? Uh, yeah, uh, can't we just skip the can? Because it seems like kind of waste to put it in another cup. It's just a service standard, Emily. Don't question it. Well, why do we have to open it when we can just give it to them? Because passengers will put this in their bag and ask for another one to keep stealing more drinks. It's free though, so who cares? Okay, class dismissed. Pilots are so hot. I'm going to try to date one. You don't need to. You're new. They're coming for you. What do you mean? They like the newbies. It's true, you have a smell. Fresh. That can't be true. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Who here has been with a pilot for six months of flying? Be honest. Boy, there you go. Oh my no! Welcome to get. Where? Uh, they're Sandra's vitamins. Yeah, vitamins. To sleep. Carna bice vitamin? Okay, 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 I'm gonna stop, stop. It's weed candy, okay? Marijuana? Oh, shit. How you feeling, Amma? How to be a flight attendant's favorite passenger, part one, let's go! You know how all passengers get a boarding pass? Well, on that boarding pass, you'll see a seat number and letter. Sit there. Thank you. You good? Are you gay? Mama. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. You just need to keep your mask on. Yeah, no thanks. Well, um, you need to keep your mask on, please. I can't breathe. Do you want me to die? No, of course not, but hey, good. Okay. Uh, there's a passenger that's refusing to keep her mask on. What? Okay, let me talk to her. Strategy one, be informative. Excuse me, ma'am. Our airline policies clearly state that all passengers need to wear a face mask for the duration of the flight. Yeah, like I told your little friend earlier, I have a medical condition. I can't breathe, so I don't need to wear a mask, okay? I'm sorry to hear that. May I please see your doctor's note? I don't need a doctor to tell me I can't breathe. I'm telling you that I have difficulty breathing. When you first booked your ticket and when you checked in for this flight, you knew about our policies. You want to talk about policy? Your company made me take the, the vaccine and now the government is tracking me everywhere I go. That's what you guys made me do, and now you want me to wear a mask? That doesn't even make any sense. Nobody forced you to get the vaccine, man. We just require a mask. Especially Jack, me. God knows what. See, I'm vaccinated. Uh, that's a boba stamp card. It doesn't matter, okay? I'm vaccinated, so I can't get COVID. I can't give any of you guys COVID, so just, like, leave me alone. Uh, yeah, she won't listen to me either. Guys, come on! Didn't you pay attention in training? I got this. Strategy 2, Ultimate Customer Service. Excuse me, 
ma'am? Oh my god, what? I would first like to apologize that we are making you wear these masks. I know they are so uncomfortable. I, I hate them so much as well. I can barely breathe in it as well. But unfortunately, this is our company policy and we are just doing our job. And I would really appreciate it if you could just wear your mask just for the next couple hours. Can you please? No. Oh no. That didn't work. Ugh. Amateurs, I got it. Strategy three threat. Hey lady, put on your mask. Excuse me? I said, put on your mask now. You can't talk to me like that. You disrespect my colleagues? Absolutely I can talk to you like that. Children behave better than you. That's embarrassing. Oh wow, and now you're comparing me to a child? Yeah. That would be a compliment for you. Now put on your mask. Or what? What are you going to do? You're going to strap me to my chair? Force me to wear this mask like an animal? Yeah, I've seen YouTube. I know what you guys do. Mm -hmm. That is an option, but that seems like a lot of work for me. I'm going to give you one more opportunity to wear your mask. Eh? Off. What it's like to invest in crypto. Are you going to upgrade your seat? No freaking way. Thank you. This is amazing. Welcome to business class, Mrs. Lee. Uh, no, I'm not Mrs. Lee. My apologies. Let me take you to your correct seat. This is a joke, right? You're mm. joking. No, we don't guarantee well, anything, so... Can I get my original seat back? No, but... Trust me, just stay there and I'll find something better for you. Holy crap. I'm in first class. I'm in first class! Ma'am, your seat are through these doors. What the fuck? Ma'am, is there anything at all that I can do to help your child feel more comfortable? Uh, is she in pain? Um, I have some coloring books, uh, a snacks, you name it, anything you want. Oh no, she, she just has behavioral issues. She's throwing a tantrum because she wants to watch Coco Melon. I have an iPad. I'll lend it to you and I'll uh, give you free Wi-Fi so you can watch Coco Melon. No, it's okay. She needs to learn that she can't get whatever she wants by throwing tantrums like this. Will, will she eventually stop crying soon? Probably not until she gets her Coco Melon. An eight hour flight with over 400 people. Would it be okay, please, if you could just make an exception just this one time? Absolutely not. I don't even know why you're making such a big deal out of this. Like, everyone's watching the movie anyways. Okay, all right, but can you please just have her stop jumping on the chair and kicking the seat in front of her? Listen, she's just a child, okay? Children act this way. This is what they do. Everybody should understand that you can't control a child. Excuse me, do you think you just watch her for a second? I'm just gonna run to the toilet. Of course. Hey, get look! Coco Melon! Do, 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 do! Yeah! It worked! Oh no! The mom's coming! The mom's coming! I got it. Ma'am, we've upgraded your seat to someplace more comfortable. Please follow me. Oh, great. You're almost there, right this way. You need to wear your mask for the entire flight. Oh, I'm vaccinated, so I don't need my mask. Uh, let me get my vaccination card. That's wonderful, uh, but unfortunately, our airline still- You're not hearing me. I'm vaccinated. I just can't find my card right now, but you... I can prove it. I can prove it. It's, it's our policy, ma'am. You need to wear a- Huh? Found it. I'll prove it. Wait. Uh, just give me, give me one second here. Oh. What are you doing? You know, when, you know, when you're vaccinated, you're, you're magnetized. Just give me a second. It works. I don't know what you're doing, but can you please stop and just wear your mask? If it doesn't work, I'll wear the mask, okay? Just, just hold on. Just hold on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Crap. Are you okay? Oh, I just have a stomach ache. I, I think it was the burrito. I do, I should have had the cheese. Babe, you don't look so good. <laughs> Call for help! Excuse me, can you help us please? Hello, what can I help you with? My insides feel like they're <laughs> Let me go get some help. We have a medical emergency, please. Is there a doctor on board? I'm a doctor. I'm just going to check your vitals, okay? 
I'm going to need you to take your pants off. My, my pants? You're going into labor. Lady, lady, you're psycho. I'm not pregnant. You're having a baby right now. Posh! Posh! Congratulations, it's a boy! You had no idea you were pregnant. No, had no idea. How am I still married? I just assumed he was staying with Tobias. Do you know where this new place is? Do you have an address? I'm sorry, I don't. He definitely wasn't staying with Tobias, though. That I know for sure. Keto, thank you. That is disgusting. Are you new or something? I've never seen you before. Yes, this is my first shift. First shift? Wow, exciting! Would you be a doll and take this to the passenger sitting in 13C? 13C, okay. But we don't have row 13. You're saying that you gave the cream puff to the passenger in 13C? Yes, I gave it to 13C! <laughs> There's something really loud in this plane and it's giving me a headache. Could you please figure out what it is? I don't know, it could be the engines or something and just do something about it? earplugs if you'd like. No, no, no. I have my own earplugs. I can still hear it. The sound is actually the engines. So. Okay, so then can you tell the captain to turn it off? Complain that the engines are too loud. Can you please turn them off? Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Ah! Tales from the skies. Let's go. Which country are we flying over right now? Ma'am, we're going from LA to New York. Yeah, I know. The cities are both in the United States. So... So we're flying over the United States. Oh. Psst. What? Is she new? Shoe? Yeah, she's new. Initiation? Oh. Initiation. Hey, it's your turn to check the air quality in each cabin and then make sure to give it to the captain, okay? Check the air quality and give it to the captain. Okay! Hi, Captain. I have the air quality sample for you. What? Oma! Oma!
Bro, she's perfect for this. Let's grab it. Excuse me, ma'am. Eh? Uh, we're, we're doing street magic right now. Can I show you something? Ma magic? Can I borrow your ring? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, magic trick, magic oh. trick. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Keep a handkerchief here. We'll place your ring inside. Watch your ring vanish. Now, completely gone. Mm hmm? appreciate it and as a loyal customer why am i stuck here in economy and not automatically upgraded to business class oh yes we do provide complimentary upgrades to our gold members uh, but it is based on availability and unfortunately today is a full flight is that right well let's check the official website then shall we oh well look at this gold members automatically qualify for a complimentary upgrade <gasps> and uh, if you just keep reading it does say right there based on availability oh my god this airline is trash uh, i'll be more than happy to bring you some snacks from business what would make me happy is a better seat not some crummy pretzels in a bag well then our patio seating just opened up if you're interested did you see that viral clip on the news where that guy got duct taped to his chair on his flight? This happened on Frontier Airlines. Yes, I saw. That was such an unfortunate event. I know, right? Poor passenger. I know! Poor- What? Yeah, they treated him like an animal. Taping him to his chair, taping his mouth so he can't talk. My God. Brutal. You do realize that he sexually assaulted and punched the flight attendants and was a threat to other passengers, right? Oh, seriously, this world is so sensitive nowadays. Like, he was just drunk. These things can happen. So what you're saying right now is that if you're drunk, you get a free pass for this sort of violent behavior? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Everybody on this plane sucks. You suck. You pal. <gasps> Sir, you need to calm down. You're causing a disturbance on this flight. Hey, you can't tell me what to do. My parents are worth two million dollars. Sir, there's literally no benefit for you to be flexing your parents' two million dollars. Are you joking? You can't even buy a house in LA for that. Why are you sitting in the economy, bro? Oh my god, shut up! Hey, lady. <laughs> you. <laughs> Joke's on you, buddy. Did these feel nice to you? Ah! Oh, hell no. How? Help! Help! Hmm. Plan B then. Let's go. You guys suck. My parents are worth more than fucking two million goddamn dollars. And you know what? You. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what? My grandpa. Fucking attorney! Shut the Hey! 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 Hey!
아이고 오랜만이에요 아이고 진짜 오랜만이네 딸미가 왜 이렇게 예뻐? 너무 젊어졌어요 어 아니야 <웃음> 어 근데 내가 늦어서 가야 되거든 우리 다음에 커피 한잔 하자 저는 좋죠 연락해 주세요 예 네네 예. <웃음> 안녕히 가세요 <웃음> 엄마 that was your friend? 아니 엄마 그 사람 너무 싫어 어우. 프라델라 팬 D&G 도체 가든 브리사치 브레이 크리스톨 I just want to let you know this is the best smelling plane I've ever been on I know because I have a monthly subscription of fragrances with Scentbird where I get to choose from over 600 brands Real? 100% authentic? Sample size? Nope How much? $16, but you can use my code and get it for $11 for the first month. Yeah, right. Welcome aboard. Welcome. Good morrow, my lady. Okay. That was weird. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Is that thing real? Why, yes. It is a real sword. How did you get that on the plane? Ye lords, at ye gate. Let die through. Oh my god. Of course they put the crazy lady in my section. I don't think so, lady. Stop with the lies. I tell ye truth. Okay, why would you bring a sword on the plane? A lady must always protect thyself in case of any danger. We ain't living in no renaissance times, okay? You know what? I don't even care. Just don't hurt anybody, okay? Hey, watch this. Hey, crazy lady. Yes, my lady. You want to trade? Check out that flight attendant. She's cute. She's okay. She's checking me out right now. She's not looking at you. She's just looking Shh, at the plane. She's coming. Would you like a snack? Yes, please. Thank you. What did I tell you? We all get that. I'm going to ask her out. Yeah, I mean, go for it, but I don't <laughs> think it's going to happen. You know what? I saw this one TikTok of this guy picking up flight attendant with a note. I'm gonna do that. You know what? I'll bet you 20 bucks she's gonna say yes. Fine. You'll run. <sighs> Will you go on a date with me? Yes or no? Get ready to pay up because this is golden. And oh, oh, here she comes. Excuse me, miss. I just have something for you. Thank you. Trash. Any more trash? Trash. Thank you. Ma'am, I need to inspect your luggage. No problem. Okay. Let's see. Um. Mm. Mm. I mean, you just want to tell me what you're looking for, I can help you find- Please don't touch anything. Sorry. Do you have an electric toothbrush anywhere? No. An electric shaver, perhaps? No. Maybe a microphone? N no. Immersion blender? I don't even know what that is. Or maybe a remote control car, but instead of a car, it's an eggplant? Huh? Do you have any battery-operated device? Battery. Oh, yeah. If you open up that little pouch, I have my vibrator. <laughs> Ma'am, that is illegal in our country. Excuse me, what? Please go see that officer over there. And where are you guys off to today? California, LA. What are you doing in LA? <laughs> Disneyland. That your first time here. Um. <laughs> yes. Sir. Well, what's your favorite Disney character? Ariel. With Dante again. Tell him. Ariel. I see. Okay. Well, what do you do for work? <laughs> She's a uh, unemployed. No, I'm not. I'm a YouTuber. Same thing. When's your birthday? Say it again. Uh, September 12th, 2023? Ma'am, that's today's date. How old are you? Uh, the night. I don't remember. 
You don't remember? What? What year were you born? 1983. 1983. So she's 40. Yes. Sir. <coughs> what? Your shoes are up to dirty. Oh. Sorry about that. Give me all your You hungry? Come eat. Oh wow, that actually looks great. Yeah, I'm actually starving right now. Wait. What am I saying? Woman, I'm trying to rob you right now. You come to love me? Oh, Jochi. What? Say your head. What the heck is going on here? Huh? Yeah, the Isaac's singing chingu ga came to rob me there. Omma, he's trying to rob you. He's a robber. Todongnam. Huh? Ooh. Do you have any bags to check in? No. Do you have any carry-ons? No. And do you have any personal items? No. I have nothing. Okay, wonderful. So that'll just be an extra charge of $20. What? What for? Oh, that's a service charge for my time to ask you those questions. That's ridiculous. No. Oh, and about your seat. Give me whichever seat is free. No, what I was going to say is you don't have a seat yet so would you like one what do you mean the fare that you paid for was just a reservation it's not guaranteed so if you for sure want to be on this flight that would be an extra 300 dollars. of course i have to be on this flight or why would i buy a ticket great so i'm adding the guaranteed ticket i, I can't believe this oh and you also stated on your online checking that you are 120 pounds is that correct it wouldn't even let me check in without putting in that information. Like, why would you guys even need to know that information? Thank you for confirming. So, an extra $188 has been added. <laughs> you cannot charge a person based on their weight. That's discrimination. Oh my god, of course we're not going to charge you for your weight. That's illegal. We're charging you for the extra items like your clothes. You're currently standing on a scale, my dear. What? What the? Okay, and finally, I'll need you to blow into this bag five times. <laughs> I'm not doing that. That's fine. I'll just cancel your reservation. <laughs> Give me that. <gasps> Thank you so much. So after calculating the amount of air that you're going to consume over your flight, the total will come to $760. Not bad. Let me talk to your manager. Certainly. Oh, and that'll be a $50 connection fee. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Would you like chicken or beef? I'll have the chicken, please. Certainly. Oh my God, so on my last flight, some of the passengers suddenly just got like really sick. They vomited everywhere and I'm pretty sure it was the chicken. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh I'm 98% sure that this chicken is fine. I'll take the beef. Excellent choice. Oh, Steven, what are you doing? 네, 스티븐은 풀타임 메디신의 케미스트야, 케미스트. <웃음> oh wow, amazing. My Ashley, she's a FBI. <웃음> 이거 너무 좋겠어요. 우리 스티븐은 큰 집으로 이사 갔어요. 그리고 풀타임 메이드도 있어요. Oh, 너무 좋겠어요. 우리 Ashley는 너무 바빠서 쇼퍼 있어요. <웃음> 아이고, 내 아들 너무 프라우드야, 프라우드. 어? 어, 나도. I'm so proud my Ashley. 어, 웃어. 씨. 어, thank you, Gomo. Bye. Who's that? My aunt. Oh, okay. oh, aunt is Gomo? 
Japanese yeah. premiere. So the aunt that we bumped into earlier is your gomo? Oh no, that's my kunoma. Oh. What's kunoma? Oh, nowadays, like, so your cousin Bora's mom is kunoma? No, that's my resumo. Like, What's cool. resumo? Aunt. Like even uh, the kimchi ladies at the store. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry, my emo is messaging me. What's emo? Yeah, so aunt. when I did that, Yo, I'm so confused. Can you, can you explain this to me again? Oh, hold on, let me order oh, first. Oh, emo, oh, 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 oh. What? No, wait. That's your aunt? No, no I'm not related to her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Cause I'm totally feeling a connection. You think that cringe pickup line is gonna work? On Mama, pharmacy is Can you ask someone to recommend you a good vitamin D brand? Arasso. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, I'm looking for good D. We're all in search of that, ma'am. Oh my God. You have to say the word vitamin! Vitamin D! 내가 그렇게 물어보면 몰라서 그래! D가 쉽잖아, D! Oh my, just trust me. You don't want to ask it like that, okay? Just say vitamin D and they're going to understand. 알았어! <laughs> I'm looking for good uh, vitamin D. I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah, 내가 뭐라 그랬어, 모르잖아! How can they not know? It pretty much sounds the same. Maybe you can try to explain what you need. 이거 설명할게. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I want to a uh, good D, uh, good D make me happy, ha, happy, and uh, no more stress problem. Amen, sister. And uh, I want to no chewy sub to D. No, no. I want to hard D. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Wait. Why? 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 D means gochu! Can I have a quickie? I beg your pardon? Oma, you can't say that! Ah, why? Quickie want that I love quickie! Oma, stop! No way, then! Oma, got quickie got to go! Here it is! Quickie! Oma, it's pronounced kish! Ooh! Ah! Uh, oh! Whoa, oh ma, where are you going? You're looking sexy today. Morago? I said you look sexy. No, it's good. Sexy. Sexy. Hmm? Sexy. Woo! Is this your first time in Palm Springs? Yes, my first time. Wow, I love your accent. Oh, thank you very much. What's your background? Huh? Garbage can. Ooh! Hello, what can I get for you to drink? Hi, I'll have a vanilla oat latte and my mom will have an iced caramel macchiato. Oh, no! What do you mean? That's what you always drink. Yes, that's the drink I got you yesterday. Maybe I can help. What was in the drink? Espresso, milk, caramel, and it's iced. Trust me, it's an iced caramel macchiato. Oh, I know what that is. Was it iced caramel macchiato? Uh, 
French fry 주세요. 우리 그런 거 없는데요? 어? 어? What's on your menu board? French fries? 손님 죄송한데 우리 그런 거 여기 없어요. You have to have French fries. It's McDonald's. It's universal. 야 뭐가 이렇게 오래 걸려? This McDonald's doesn't have any French fries. French fry. 오? 엄마, this is so embarrassing. I'm not gonna do it. 아 왜? It's not even gonna work. 어떻게 알아? 해보면 알지. 아, oh, fine. One adult to one child, please. And I'm seven. What year were you born? Um, 2008? Did I finish the game? Yeah, okay, go ahead. Yeah, your manifest is what? Manifestation? Oh, that's when you think and feel something and it comes true. That's right. It's amazing. Let's do it. Amma, it's not praying, it's a technique. You need to vision yourself there, really there, and then you send it off into the universe. Oh, oh, I understand. I, uh, manifest. What would you like to eat, chicken or beef? Alrighty then, I will be right back. Hey, you're the one fluent in Korean, right? Yeah. Great. We have a Korean passenger and 28C doesn't speak a word of English, okay? Can you please go there and ask her what she wants to eat? Okay. Uh, hi, uh. 어머! 한국분이세요! 어, 진짜 다행이에요. 제가 영어를 잘 못하니까. 어, 지, 진짜 배고픈데. 뭘 시키지? 알아, 알아야지. 어? 어, 진짜 다행이에요. Would you like to eat chicken or beef? Chicken, please. Hi, Emma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 큰일 났어. 바깥에서 사람이 술을 좀 있어. Oh my God! Check if they have a heartbeat. You need to see if they're alive. Check their heartbeat. Heartbeat. Yeah, 사람이 죽어 있는데 무슨 소리야 이거 지금? Oh my, heart to beat. Ooh. Amma, I'm ordering some McDonald's. You want anything? 어디서? McDonald's. You know McDonald's. 처음 듣는 건데. We literally had it yesterday. You had a Big Mac and I had chicken nuggets. 그래? 왜 기억이 안 나지? McDonald's. 아 몰라. McDonald. Oh, Mama, have you seen my tablet? 그게 뭔데? You know my tablet where I watch my movies. 무슨 소리 하는 거야 지금? Tablet, tablet. 응? Oh my. Tablet. Oh. Ah, 실수. What's your Korean name? I'm sorry? I said, what's your Korean name? I'm sorry? Eh? Why sorry? My mom named it. Sorry? Yeah. So, I'm asking your name. I said I'm sorry. Stop being sorry. Why but I'm sorry? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. You suck. You suck? That's my brother's Korean name. I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. Why, you suck. Nope, that's my brother's name. What? What? Good afternoon. Lunch is served. <laughs>
We have here your ordered meal choice topped off with grass-fed beef and wild-caught salmon complemented with sides of carrots, blueberries, and Greek yogurt. Would you also like to add the premium harvest chicken bone broth? Complimentary, of course. <laughs> and for you, ma'am, would you like some lunch? 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 Huh? Sorry to wake you, ma'am, but would you like some lunch? Yes, please! Enjoy. Yeah. And I'm sorry, there's nothing for you. You're getting back together with your ex? Yeah. The one that cheated on you three times? Mm-hmm. The one you had to go to therapy for six months for? Yep. The one that made you go dumpster diving when you accidentally threw away a receipt when you were cleaning his house. Yeah. The one that peed in your sock drawer because he was too drunk? That's the one. The one when you asked for an Egg McMuffin but brought you one without the egg because it was cheaper? Okay, but listen, he said he changed. Girl, I'm gonna send you something right now that's gonna help you, okay? Bye. Hi, can I please get someone to pick up a very important package? And I'll pay for the express. Hi, I'm here with Jeannie here for pickup. Thanks so much for coming so quickly. Did you see the special instructions for delivery? I did, and don't worry. Special deliveries with Jeannie Air are the best in the world. Have a great day. are to actually open this right now oh wow all i did was say that i was gonna get back with my ex so this is i'll have alcohol because you know <laughs> i'm an alcoholic Alrighty, and for you ma'am can i get you something to drink oh huh? oh i'll have tea because i'm terrific and i'll have fanta because i'm fantastic uh, where's my seatbelt? I can give you one for ten dollars. Excuse me? You only paid for us to fly you from point A to point B and everything else is an add-on. Isn't that unsafe? Your safety is our number two priority. What's number one? To make a profit, of course. Speaking of which, I noticed that you put a bag in the overhead bin, which will come to fifty dollars. You also stored some items in the pocket in front of you, which will be an additional fifty. And I see that you're using one armrest, an additional charge. And earlier I saw you take a photo of our plane. So I'll issue you a licensing rights for that, and the total comes to $478 so far. This is ridiculous! You should have booked on way away. You get cash back on regular flights. Totally doing that next time. <clears throat> Anyways, where's the toilet? That's just in the back, and it'll be $20. $20? Forget it. I'll just go in my pants. Oh, you don't want to do that. That's a $1,200 cleaning fee. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. What are you going to do? <laughs> you sure? You sure you want to use me? It's going to hurt. Probably got to clog the toilet. No. You're actually thinking of using me? <laughs> use your bare hands. I dare you. There's toilet paper underneath the sink. Oh, thank goodness. What is this? I'm one ply. <laughs> no. And that's why I bring my own Charmin. It's worth it for the price because it's super soft. And they have mega rolls that last longer. And it won't clog your toilet. Baby, all I did was ask you to move so I can use the toilet. Here, take a Charmin and enjoy the go. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. For those sitting in no class, I'll now demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. If the seatbelt sign goes on, please fasten your seatbelts located in the basket next to you. How am I 
just supposed to strap myself in with shoelaces? It's super easy. You make two bunny holes go down and under and through the hole. And in case of emergency landing on water, your life vest should be right next to you. This is a balloon? No, this is your life vest. And if you untie it, it's also your oxygen mask. Should have never booked a cheap flight. You should have booked it on Way Away. Members get cash back on flights, hotels, rental cars, and more. So you can save money and not fly like this. Thanks for the advice. By the way, where are the emergency exits? I don't see one. We just have two emergency exits at the front. But this is the back. That's right. Good luck with that. Mr. Chu, does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? Only if the user turns on the Wi-Fi. I, I'm sorry, I may not understand the So if I have a TikTok app on my phone and my phone is on my home Wi-Fi network, does TikTok access that network? If I turn on airplane mode, can I control the plane? If I charge my phone, can I access the entire electrical grid? If I adjust the brightness on my screen, do I control night and day? If I turn on Bluetooth, does that mean my teeth will turn blue? <laughs> If I speak into this phone, can you control what I say? If I flush this toilet, does it connect to my plumbing network at home? If I turn off my phone while connected to the plane, does the plane turn off? If I wear this oxygen mask, will all the doctors on the ground know my vitals? If I put on my headphones, will you have access to my brain? Dolce Femme. <laughs> D&G Dolce Garden. Versace Bright Crystal. I just want to let you know this is the best smelling plane I've ever been on. I know, because I have a monthly subscription of fragrances with Scentbird, where I get to choose from over 600 brands. Real, 100% authentic. Sample size, nope. How much? $16, but you can use my code and get it for $11 for the first month. All right. Oh! Holy farts! You guys, look what I found in the lavatory! <gasps> How much is this? I don't know, but we should really do a PA to find the owner. Or we can keep it and split it. Lindsay! Just kidding. May I have your attention, please? If you have misplaced a watch and uh, <clears throat> uh, other items in the lavatory, please make yourself known to the crew right away. Thank you. Hey, I uh, think you found my watch. Wonderful. Can you please verify the brand of watch? Um, a Rolex. Okay. If we find your Rolex, we'll let you know. Excuse me. I I left my watch and some money in the toilet. Can you please verify how much money and the brand of watch? I left it on the sink. It was a uh, Casio watch and $20,000 cash USD. Here you go. You should take better care of this. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for flying with us. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. I just wanted to thank you again for returning those items. It was our family's life savings and we're just moving to another country to have a better life for myself and my children. So thank you so much again. Thank you. Bing. Hello, can I help you? Hello, can I have a hooker? A, a what? Can I have a hooker too, please? Pardon me? Hooker. Yes, yeah, so a car for my coat. Oh, a hanger! Babe, I'm hungry. Let's go eat. Yeah, let's go eat. Okay, what should we eat then? I don't know. What do you want? What do you want? I don't know. 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 What do you want? What the hell do you want to eat, damn it? It doesn't matter now, does it? stuck right now so uh, I'll get back to you. Hey! I'm on a call! Oh! No! Ah! Stop! 
No, wait, 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 wait! Supervisor. I'm the supervisor of economy class. How can I help you? Yes, the other flight attendant with blonde hair and black glasses has got to be the worst flight attendant ever. First, I asked for coffee, and then 30 minutes later, she brings me socks. I still never got my coffee, and she's always on her phone. That is so unprofessional. And she's got to be the rudest person I have ever met in my entire life. There must be a misunderstanding. Lindsay is one of the best flight attendants we have. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, you're just as bad as she is. You know what? Get me the manager of the plane. What, what do you call it? A purser. Certainly. And bring me a complaint form! Hello, ma'am. I am the purser on this plane. I understand you have a complaint to file. Yes, that's correct. Please fill out this complaint form and I will take care of it. See? Now this is great service. Why can't the rest of them be like you? I'll file this for you right away. Thank you. Change your looks with pair eyewear. Use my code Genie15 for 15% off. I need you all to be extra cautious and suspicious with everyone coming in with a child. There has been an increase in child abduction cases, so I need you all to take note. Understood? Different last names. Hmm. I'm going to question the kid because they're usually honest. I'm going to ask your child a question. Where are you going? United States? Hmm. She doesn't really know. United States where? United States of... Disneyland? United States of <coughs> Disneyland? Welcome to the United States of Disneyland. Make sure you get the fast pass. Thank you. Hello, welcome aboard. Hello. Oh, oh my God, I'm so sorry. No, 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 I'm sorry. I should have stopped slower. I was the one not paying attention. I am so sorry. I should be more aware of my surroundings. I'm sorry. Please accept my apologies with these dozen timbits. That is so generous. Let me help you with- Okay, can we please speed up the politeness? We're still bored in, eh? Oh, shit. Oh. Hi. We all made it on time. I swear it was customs, okay? At to EGY, you come 10 hours before. What the f ah! Excuse me, did your face get in the way of my bags? Oh shit, I need to pee. Damn, these passengers are freaking sleeping. Maybe I can just hold it. We have two hours to landing. Yeah, I'm gonna hold it. Nope, nope, can't hold it. Oh, they're waking up. Oh no, they're not off. Damn, I'm so thirsty too. I can't drink water right now. Wait, if I drink a cup of water right now, it'll take me 30 minutes to pee it out. No, 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 not a good idea. No, not worth it, not worth it. I'm just gonna wait. Damn, I'm so thirsty though. No, 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 I can't risk it. Seriously though, what is their problem? Okay, just distract yourself by singing a song. Don't go chasing waterfalls. No way, you idiot! You can't sing about water right now! I'm such a dumbass. Oh no, okay, fuck this shit. Excuse me. Oh ma, I'm hungry. Can you make me some food? Yeah. Ni na ga be sa rinde omma boga bape dalle. Ni ga! Oh ma, I'm hungry. Can you make me some food? Ai, good day, Zeki. Begupa. Mo mokko shippa? Omma ga da hejukke. Oh, ma, 
What is that? It stinks. Ojingo, 먹을래? Oh my, seriously, why are you eating that on the plane? It's so embarrassing. 기집애. Yeah. 저 사람 발에서 냄새가 더 나는데 뭐? 먹어봐. 맛있어. 응? 헤이. Hey. Hi. What you do for job? Oh, I'm a doctor. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Who's that? Bali. Oh no, it's not my type. Ow, I cut myself. Oh, Kintana? Cha. Oh my so. Okay. Thanks, Emma. Party? Why are you so Thank you. <laughs> Pasta? Oh, I feel like rice. Why do you want to eat? Oh, mom has done it. Oh no, there's so much traffic. We're gonna be late. Yeah, 여기서 왜 전해? No, Google Maps is telling us to go straight. It's faster. 엄마가 맨날 이 길이 다녀서 알거든. 이 길이 빨라. Google Maps calculates traffic. Okay, this is the fastest way. 요즘 애들은 그게 문제야. Sense가 없어. 어? 엄마는 experience가 있거든. Okay, fine, fine. I trust you. Okay, okay. Oh. You smell bad. What? Oh no! No, no! So sorry. Yeah. 그렇게 말하면 안 되지. 엄마, you just said his feet so stinky. Oh no! <clears throat> Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. No, I'm just gonna sit in this empty seat. Thanks. Emma, what's that small line on your face? Gotcha. Gotcha. Hello, you ready to pay? Yes. <laughs> You must be buying gifts. Huh? No, poor me. Oh, drop my lipstick. <laughs> plane is shaking way too much like I almost spilled my coffee and this plane is so noisy it's like I can't even hear my friend so the shake is coming from the turbulence that we're just flying through right now and um, the, the noise is coming from the engines
Okay, then just turn off the engines. Do you have any other questions in regards to sitting in the emergency row? Yes, so where does the door go? Uh, when the door opens, it just slides outwards. But what if someone is outside the door? Why would there be someone outside the door? Like say there was a hiker or something and you open the door, wouldn't they get injured? Ma'am, hypothetically speaking, if there were a crash landing and a hiker happens to be there, they're not going to be worrying about the door. In case we blow up in the air, there's parachutes, right? Yes, of course. But it's just for the crew. What? I'm just joking. Oh, thank goodness. We don't have any. What? Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 21, let's go! So what happens when there's a death on board? In the event that someone passes away on flight, most airlines do have body bags on board. We would most likely move the body to an empty row or another class, but if it's a full flight, possibly remain in their seat or in the galley. Also, cabin crew cannot legally declare death on board. This is only done after landing by local authorities. I don't know if I should tell you guys this. But I will because I tell you everything. Commercial flights also transport human remains in cargo. So the next time you fly, there might be a dead body underneath you and you don't even know it. Hello, welcome aboard. I have a present for you. Oh my goodness. That was really sweet. Thank you so much. Mama, how come we didn't get upgrade? What is that? I don't know. I've never tried it. This sweet passenger gave it to us. Cool, let me try. Good job, Ginny! Ginny, you want to eat No, thanks, Mama. If you're good, you can eat it. I don't want any. Eat it! Oh, get out! Koguma mogo! Koguma! 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 What did you make? No! Hey, sweetheart, are you okay? Are you lost? Where are your parents? You can see me? What? You're not supposed to be able to see me. Um. I wonder why people are so scared to poo on the plane. It's pretty clean. It doesn't smell too bad. I should hurry though cause what? If there's turbulence, and where does the poo go when I flush? Oh no, I hope it doesn't smell. People are waiting. Wait, why doesn't this flush? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh no, how do I do? Should I sneak out? Do you need some help? Are you okay? You've been ringing the emergency call button like 20 times. Sorry. Mommy, how do planes work? Well, honey, planes have wings, uh, like a bird. Gah! You know, uh, with engines that spin, and uh, it just, uh, uh, you know what? Uh, why don't we ask this uh, nice lady over here? She'll tell you. So when you flush, the poo travels down the pipes to the back of the plane where it's stored until we land. And then after you land, the poop is removed. I've never heard of poo falling from the sky, so let's look it up. What? No. <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny. No. So I'm a little shook right now. So apparently there's some older planes that are still flying around right now. And they could sometimes leak human waste. And it freezes in the air because it's so cold and creates something called blue ice. Like, this is falling from the sky. It's like frozen poo. Oh my god, this was recent. And this is where my brother lives in Kelowna. Hey. Yeah. Hey, did poo ever fall from the sky in Kelowna? Oh yeah, oh yeah. What? When? Falls from the sky everywhere. What? Oma, <laughs> remember my good friend Karen? Her boss. I have COVID. Oh, Hello? I don't have COVID.
COVID? Who said that? Your mom? Well, who told her? My... Oma, why are you telling people I have COVID? Oh, 깜짝이야. 야, 안 그랬어. 네 친구 캐럼이 걸렸다 그랬지. Oh my god, that's not what I said either. Yeah, I'll be out in a sec. Girls leaving their car. Um, what? Don't you have a purse? Yeah, I do. Right here. Miss, can I get a Coke, please? Of course. Sandra, 40C's looking for you? Oh, okay. Hello, you asked for me? Yeah, I uh, wanted a Coke. Wincy, the passenger just wanted a Coke. Really? That's so weird. because of his uniform. What? I don't get it. It's a uniform effect. Without his uniform, he's a 5 out of 10 at most. You add the uniform, you add 3 points. So you see him as an 8. It's just simple math. Then what happens when you're an 8 without the uniform? If you were an 8 and above, normally, you would know. You add a uniform, your panties would fly right off. Excuse me, miss. Yes? Feel my shirt. What? It's boyfriend material. I don't know, I think it looks a little clingy, cheap, and hard to maintain to me. Ooh. Okay team, before we depart, we're gonna do a quick safety quiz. All right, first question. What is the pre-flight security check for our halons? Lindsay, how about you tell me the last time you actually had to use a halon and I'll tell you. Yeah, that's what I thought. The needle should be in the green zone. Very good, Sandra. Suck up. Hey, what's a halon? The fire extinguisher? <laughs> right. Uh, so what happens if uh, it's not in the green zone and there's a fire? We all die. We die? Okay, everybody just shut up! Do your checks. Make sure the needle is in the green zone. If there's a fire, nobody dies, okay? Excuse me, sir, you can't eat that on the plane. It has a, a strong smell. But it's so delicious. I'm sorry, sir. It's, it's really upsetting the other passengers. I'm just gonna have to get rid of this, okay? Throw it away! I have to go. I'll help you find your parents. What's your name? Jeannie. What a beautiful name, Jeannie. Do you remember where you were sitting? Yeah, it was dark and cold and I was all alone. Okay. I I'm just going to ask my friend for help. Just wait one second, okay, sweetie? Hey, psst, psst. Do you know where this kid was sitting? What kid? Uh, I swear, she was just here. Okay, well, let's just check. Uh, no, we have no kids on this flight. No, th there was a kid here with pigtails and a pink panther doll. Oh, no, wait, there is a kid on this flight. Oh, no. In cargo, though. Cargo? You mean... Oh, no, that's so sad. And her name was Jeannie. Such a cute name. Jeannie. Right, right. See ya. Next! Hello. Okay, so I understand that you had in your possession a... <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. A remote control car, but instead of a car, an eggplant. Is that correct? Yes. Were you aware that these items were illegal in the UAE? No. Passport. <gasps> <clears throat> wow. 
You do realize that I can find you for this. what you're bringing into the country. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Welcome. Good morrow, my lady. Okay. That was weird. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Is that thing real? Why, yes. It is a real sword. How did you get that on the plane? Ye lords, at ye gate, let thy through. Oh my god. Of course they put the crazy lady in my section. I don't think so, lady. Stop with the lies. I tell ye truth. Okay, why would you bring a sword on the plane? A lady must always protect thyself in case of any danger. We ain't living in no renaissance times, okay? You know what? I don't even care. Just don't hurt anybody, okay? Hey, watch this. Hey, crazy lady. Yes, my lady. You want to trade? Hello, sir. What would you like for your meal? Uncle Roger will have the egg fried rice. Excellent choice. Here you go. Enjoy your meal. What is this? What is this? What is this? Why the rice so wet and the egg look like rubber? Uncle Roger make egg fried rice video. You should watch it. Teach you how to make it properly. Sir? I didn't make that. Uh, the chefs on the ground actually made that, and then they froze it for not sure how long, but then they give it to me, and I just pop it in the oven and uh, give it to you. Hiya, woman, you trying to kill me? Usually it's a yes, but I swear, this time I wasn't. That's time for boarding, so I'm just headed to the gate. Excuse me, you dropped something! That's trash. Oh, well, the garbage can's just right here. Great, so do your job and put it there. I'm back. Oh my god, so this cleaner person had the audacity to tell me to do her job and pick up trash off the floor. I know! Like, she should be thanking me. I'm like giving her something to do. Oh my god, I know! Like, get a real job then. <laughs> Anyways, listen, I'm going to be arriving in Milan at 6 p.m. So don't be late, okay? Did you say you're going to Milan? Yeah. They just announced a gate change to gate A57. But that's at the other end of the airport. Oh, you better hurry then. You're going to miss your flight. Hey, I gotta go. This is the final boarding call for flight to Milan at gate B10. All passengers must board now. Final call. Excuse me, what's the holdup? I'm gonna miss my connecting flight. Yeah, hurry up! I'm sorry, sir. We're just waiting for one more VIP passenger and we should be on our way shortly. Well, it doesn't matter to you. You're getting paid anyways. Actually, no. You're not getting paid right now? We don't get paid until the doors close and we push back. That's crazy! Aren't you pissed off? This is my pissed off face, sir. Hey, dudes. What's up? Sorry, I'm late. Hurry up and sit down! <laughs> True tales from the skies. Let's go! <clears throat> Ma'am, what are you doing? I'm trying to open the window so I can throw up my baby's diaper. Ma'am, we're on a plane. I know. What's your point? And even if we weren't on a plane, that's still messed up, so please. Just give me the diaper. Stop! I don't think my wife came on board. She's not in her seat. What do you mean, sir? We got into a fight at the airport and then she just walked off and I thought she boarded the plane, but she's not in her seat. I'm sure she's on board, sir. The ground staff has confirmed everyone is on board. Have you checked the toilets by any chance? I did! I looked everywhere. She's not in the airplane. Please don't take off. Don't worry, sir. We won't until we locate your wife. Hey, what's going on? He says his wife is missing. He thinks she didn't board the plane. What? 
Oh, she's on board for sure. There's no missing passengers. Can you just let the captain know about the situation and I'll just do a PA, okay? Oh my gosh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are looking for a passenger right now. Could Anita Cox please make yourself known to cabin crew? Anita Cox, thank you. Excuse me, it's been like two hours. I'm gonna miss my connecting flight. This is all my fault. I should've just bought her the bag she wanted. Sir, the captain told us that we cannot delay this flight any longer. We have double checked to make sure that she is on this flight. Her ticket has been scanned, so she's definitely on here. Unfortunately, we will be offloading her luggages. Would you like for us to offload your luggage as well? Offload my luggage too, please. Certainly, sir. What we need to do now is actually check every single person's boarding pass just to double check again. Dude, leave her! Ma'am, as you heard from the announcement, we are looking for a missing passenger. May I please check your boarding pass? Ma'am, we've been looking for you for the last two hours. Didn't you hear the public announcement? Your husband is very worried about you. So? I didn't want to talk to him. Ma'am, you've delayed this aircraft for two hours. Many of these passengers will miss their connecting flights because of you. So? That's not my problem. You know what? You're right. You shouldn't be our problem either. Ah! Hell, death do us part, baby! Ah! Steven, can you please give the lady in 15C her breakfast? Good morning, ma'am. Here's your omelette. Is there anything else I can grab you? No. Bring me mother. Mother? I I'm sorry. I, I don't understand. Mother! Bring me mother! Whose mother? Your mother? My mother? Mother Teresa? I don't know what you want me to do, lady! Mother! 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 Ma'am, that's an omelette. Stephen, you're not supposed to yell at the passengers! It's not my fault she's not making any sense! Mother! The bring me mother! Mother! She's talking about the egg's mother? She wants chicken! Mother fucker! Good afternoon, sir. We're starting our meal service now. Would you care for something to no. drink? Get me another server. Is there a problem, sir? I refuse to be served by an Asian. I'm sorry. I'm actually in charge of this section, so it will be me serving you, sir. You can stop talking to me now because I don't understand Asian, so just get me your supervisor. Certainly, sir. Hello, you requested to speak to me? The server can't even speak English, and I need someone that can understand me, so can you just send me someone else? Sir, all of our crew speak English, and you are sitting in her section, so you will be served by her. I don't want an Asian serving me, all right? I don't know if anyone has ever told you this, sir, but uh, you're, you're Asian. What does that matter? Okay, well, your request is denied. My colleague over here will continue to serve you because this indeed is her section. If you have a problem with that, I can tell the captain to turn the plane around so we can offload you. You will further be blacklisted off this airline, so what would you like to do? Fine, I just won't eat or drink anything then. Sir, would you like chicken or beef for your meal? Still at it? All right, all right, okay. <phone rings> Sir, would you like a snack or a drink? Are you sure? Because this flight is 16 hours and if you don't, oh, oh, oh okay, okay. <phone rings> Sir, we're serving dinner now. Are you sure you don't want anything? Okay, please, at least have some water. You're, you're looking a little bit, uh, oh, okay. You know what? I give up, I give up. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your flight. Have a nice day. Hey, where's that mean guy? I didn't see him leap yet. Oh yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen him. Sir? Whoop! <laughs> oh my, you took out that water from before, right? Aw. Ma'am, I need to inspect your luggage. No problem. Not allowed. Oh! What is this? Oh, that's my pee. Oh, happy pee. Make me pee very, very nice. Oh, really? Well, they're not labeled or in its containers, so I don't know what this is. Oh, no, no, no problem. They're not drugs. Oh my, you can't say that word here. Where? I said not drugs. Yeah, I'm gonna get this checked. Great. Now we're gonna be late. 
그냥 비타민인데 왜? 아, 엄마, why would you bring that? It's not what you think. It's a massage. So it's exactly what I think it is. You use peel very nice, no stress. Face roller, it's a, it's a face roller. Interesting design I decided to go with. You get to one, I show you how to use it. Oh, ma, please stop. giving you shade. What's your type? I like a man who's sexy. Oh yeah? Then what am I? Sexy. <laughs> I just feel like I'm the one that's always chasing after you. You're like my puppy. You're going down. This is so lame. Three, two, one! <웃음> Stop! Jenny, who downloaded this? I got a map, Reicher app, subway map and schedule, airline app, hotel app, shopping app, best places to eat app, and translation app. Very nice, Jenny. Jameson. Yeah, I got all that, plus NordVPN. What's that? It's a paid app that decreases the chances of us getting hacked while we're using unsecured Wi-Fi while we're traveling. You don't need that. Oh yeah? Then how do I know that all your passwords are I love Winnie Dogs and that you only have $2.58 in your bank account? Oh, and you know that guy you've been sending photos to in Spain, Fernando? Well, he's actually a 50-year-old man from Queens. Yeah, no, don't do it! Don't do it! Mama, you know all that K-drama you can't watch because you're in the wrong country? Well, now you can watch it anywhere in the world. Link in bio to download. So oh my god. It feels nice, right? I have been doing a thousand squats a day. I'm so flattered you've noticed. Actually, I don't think you got it right the first time. I think you need to really get in there and squeeze it. You don't understand how nice it is. Like, it's really firm. Squeeze it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Merry Christmas, everyone! I know it sucks we're like working today, but I think we can still have some fun. How about we play Secret Santa with things we find on the plane? Yeah, let's do it! Okay, pick a name. We'll meet back in 30 minutes. I got you, Heather. Leftover first class chocolates. Merry Christmas. Oh, thanks. I got you too. No way! How fun! I thought you meant buy something from the duty free cart, so I got you skincare. Holy crap! These are so expensive! Thanks! My turn! Merry Christmas, Lindsay! Bish, I love you, you know me so well. Are those from our bar cart? Because if you get caught with those when we land, you're gonna get fired. Uh, that's why I get rid of the evidence. And here's your gift. <laughs> Seat 7A. Can I help you? Are you with anybody? No, I'm alone. Meet me in the toilet. <laughs> and that's how I met your father. You lost my luggage! Oh, hello. I didn't lose anything, but I will do my best to assist you. May I please get your passport and your luggage tag? You, the company, same, same. Thank you. Okay, yep, your luggage is missing. That's what I said! Did you pick up your luggage when you transferred flights? No, you're supposed to send it to my final destination, which is here, but it's not here. 
actually because you flew internationally you had to pick up your bags clear customs recheck your bags for this domestic flight how was i supposed to know that we do tell you when you check in and also prior to the plane landing well if someone told me i would have picked it up but clearly no one told me let me just call the other airport and locate your bag right Hello, hi. I was wondering if you can help me locate a lost luggage. Great, uh, it's luggage tag A35456. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes, makes sense. Uh-huh, yeah, that's the one, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. They found it? No, they couldn't find it anywhere. Your bag just disappeared, poof. Did you buy insurance? Oh, well, can they look harder? It has to be there. Luggage doesn't just get up and walk away on its own. Hello, I'm checking in. Thank you. And will you be checking in any luggage today? Just my backpack. All right, so there will be a backpack fee. And I noticed you're wearing a jacket, so a jacket charge. No, I'll just take it off and I'll just put it into my backpack. <laughs> All right, so a jacket and a backpack charge. And will you be wanting a window or an aisle seat? Oh, uh, okay, uh, aisle please. Great, so there'll be an aisle seat fee. No, just give me whatever seat is free. Only the middle seats by the toilets are free, but they're all taken, so. So I have to pay regardless. That's correct, so aisle fee, and I'll be printing your boarding pass, so print fee. It's okay, I I'll just use my phone. Right, internet fee then, and will you be using the toilet during the flight? I don't know, maybe. You never know, you should get it just in case. So, there'll be a toilet fee, flush fee, toilet paper usage fee, and we also have cleaning charge, odor removal fee, and convenience fee. So, will you be needing a seatbelt? Oh, come on, that's mandatory! <laughs> no. Uh, give me the seatbelt. Smart choice. So with the seatbelt fee and safety charge, the total comes to $1.2 million. Excuse me, it's way too hot on this plane. Can you please turn down the temperature? No, 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 mm -mm. I was just going to ask you to turn up the heat because I'm freezing. Well, we set the plane temperature to around 22 to 24 degrees, which is usually a comfortable temperature for everyone on the plane. Oh, comfortable? Okay, why don't you tell that to my nipples, huh? Do they look comfortable to you? Oh, is this what we're doing now? We're battling it out? Okay, yeah. You want to see something? Look at my pits! It's too hot! Oh. <laughs> uh, we don't have any blankets on this flight, um, but how about I lend you my jacket? I can bring that to you, and uh, how about a nice ice-cold beverage to help cool you down? I am not wearing someone else's clothes. You think a cold beverage is going to help this? The easiest solution is for you to just turn up the heat, okay? And if not, fine, I'll be filing a complaint. No, turn down the temperature or I'm filing a complaint. So pretty much a lose-lose situation for me. Ah! Oh no! Lindsay, I need your help. Shh, I'm on my break, leave me alone. It's an emergency! Literally everything is an emergency, so go away. I'm serious! I think someone's dying! Is there a doctor on board? Yes, but we still need you to help. Then they have a better chance of surviving than if I help them. Due to an overbooking, we're looking for one volunteer to take the next flight out tomorrow, and in exchange, we'll be giving you a $200 travel credit. $300. $400. $500. Hello, I'll take the next flight $4,000 cash. $750. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else. You see, they all got places to go, people to see. I'm alone and depressed, so I might as well make some bank out of my situation. Know what I'm saying? Fine. $1,000, travel credit, no cash. Seriously? Oh. <clears throat> and I would like a hotel because the flight is tomorrow and I need a place to stay. That's reasonable. And I would like 
to be upgraded to first class on my flight tomorrow. Okay. And I would like a uh, massage voucher for the stress that this flight change has caused. Don't me. push it. I'll take it. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 14, let's go. So how long is a cruise shift? Why don't we break it down? The longest shift I've ever had with Emirates was from Dubai to Houston, Texas, which was 16 hours. We also need two hours before the flight for our pre-flight security checks and our briefing. And then upon landing, we have to let the passengers leave first, then we go through customs, then we get our bags, and then we make it to the hotel, which is another, let's say, two hours? So in total, it's about 20 hours. Do you still think you can be cabin crew? Miss, we need to inspect your bag. Oh, okay, sure. What is this? That's my favorite show. Pornographic material is illegal in this country. No, 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 it's not what you think. I need to report you. What's going on over here? She's trying to bring pornographic material into our country. Sex in the City? I love that show! Samantha's my favorite. She's good to go. <gasps> Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 18, let's go! Do we get any airport perks while we're working? Of course we do! The thing I hate most about airports are these awful long lines. When we're working, we go straight to the front of the line for all the security checks. We get to bypass the customs line. And the valet has our luggage waiting for us. And we go outside where a shuttle like this will be waiting for us to take us to our hotel. Now that's VIP service. I'm so cool. All right, mm -mm. the crunching's got to stop, okay? It's very irritating. Can you please? Take a chill pill, angry lady. Here. I share. Feel better. That's surprisingly very nice of you. <clears throat> okay, this room needs to shut up. What would you like for your snack? What you have? We have here dark chocolate nuggets, coconut keto clusters, coconut clusters, Pecans and caramel and almond nuggets. Anything okay? The almonds are my favorite. Try that one. Can I have a snack? Oh, sure. <laughs> Pretty lady, can I have a snack? <gasps> you are so cute! Here, take two. I didn't get one. Can I have one snack? Oh, of course, sweetheart. There you go. Ama! <laughs> Good job, yeah! I'm gonna be late for my connecting flight. Is there another way out? I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. That's the only way out. Well, can't you tell all these people to sit down so I can get out or open that door? I can't. There's no jet bridge at this door. I don't need a jet bridge. It's fine. Just open it. You need it to get off. We're not in the sky. I can get down. No, it's like a long way down. Lady, just open the stupid door right now. I need to go. I'm so no. I miss this flight. It's all good. You can't you refund me. You gonna refund me? Is that what you? Want? Okay, fine. Hey, do you have a ladder or something? Oops. <laughs> Please, is there a doctor on board? It's an emergency. Boo, I can help. I'm a doctor. She doesn't look so good. What's the diagnosis, doctor? So my diagnosis is some acne, rosacea, maybe some mild melasma around the sides. I could definitely have helped her with this if only she were still breathing. Excuse me, what? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Joyce Park, dermatologist. Oh, shit. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 23, let's go! There's a trending topic right now that I will address based on my personal experience. Do we clean the coffee pots in the coffee machine? I have never personally cleaned it. Then does the ground crew clean it? I don't know, you gotta ask someone who's ground crew, but personally I thought they would clean it or, you know, exchange the pots at least. Is the coffee and tea safe to drink? I drank a minimum of five cups every shift and clearly, I'm still alive. As for my health, I think I'm okay. But for my mental health, may be questionable, but that's from the passengers, not from the coffee. Hey besties! 
Today, I'm going to take you inside my brain for a minute and show you how I solve problems fairly. All the passenger problems we encounter are so different that it's our job as crew to assess the situation and provide the best solution. On my most recent video regarding the plus size passenger, some of you felt that it was unfair that just due to your size, you would get an upgrade. Based on the scenario I provided for you, that was the best solution. But let's play around with the roles a little bit. Let's be real, rude passengers come in all shapes and sizes. So what would have happened if this passenger was actually rude? Do you guys think I would have upgraded that passenger? Hell no. I would actually feel bad for the passenger sitting next to them. So I would give them the upgrade, right? So the rude passenger gets more space and everybody wins. I hope that helps. Here is a flight tip for all the beautiful plus size passengers. As I was scrolling through the comments on this recent video, many of you have mentioned that you get a lot of anxiety asking for a seatbelt extender in front of all the other passengers. So here is a tip for you. When you are boarding the plane, ask a crew member at this time for that seatbelt extender. Some airlines actually keep the seatbelt extenders right where you're boarding, so they'll give it to you right away. And if they don't have it there, that's okay. You can give them your seat number, and after boarding is completed, they'll be able to give you a seatbelt extender without you even having to ask for it. So the only person that will hear you is a crew member while everyone else is busy boarding. I hope your next flight is going to be better. Tokyo, copy! Excuse me, I just want to say you're gorgeous. Thank you. She's all right. And who might you be? Her boyfriend. Uh, I learned now and every day that she's the most beautiful person on this planet before I throw you off the plane. You are the most beautiful person on this planet. You're so handsome boy. Why you do poor job? I'm a plastic surgeon. Oh, oh, oh. Please, very much. Uh, me lift. I want to lift. Give me discount. Oh my, stop being so embarrassing. No, I can't. No? Why? Because you're perfect. I'm still gonna see if I can hang out with Captain Eric when we land. I just have one advice for you, okay? Before you start anything, ask him if he's married. Ask him if he's married. What? what, what? Why do I have to ask that? Okay, so for example, you forget to ask if he's married. So in the middle of you watching a movie, his wife calls and obviously you're gonna get upset. So what do you do? You cut a huge hole in his crotch area in the one and only uniform that he has to wear tomorrow to work. And then he'll have the audacity to call you a psycho. And then he'll just make the flight back like really uncomfortable, you know? That was like a really specific example. You're all scaring me. Maybe now I don't want to date a pilot. Sweetie, no! Just like how there's a lot of great guys on the ground, there's a lot of great guys in the air, okay? Or equal amounts of trash on the ground as there is in the air. Lindsay! That's depressing. What? It's true. That's why I also like girls. Excuse me, what? I didn't know you like girls too. Yeah, it's called insurance. Why is that man tied to his seat? Well, sweetie, he decided to assault some passengers and crew, so we decided to restrain him. But what if he needs to go to the bathroom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta go. Let me free. Oh, well, then we just give him a blanket and he can go in his seat. There you go. Huh? You're joking, right? I, I'm being really serious. I gotta go. Number one or number two? Two! Ooh, ooh. You can't do this! Where are my rights? Well, you probably should have thought about that before you decided to punch someone in the face, yeah? Oh no. Ew! Hey, sweetheart, are you okay? Are you lost? Where are your parents? You can see me. What? You're not supposed to be able to see me. Um... A strange thing happened on the plane today. A group of vampires came on board and told me they were thirsty. So after boarding, I asked them what they wanted to drink. The first vampire asked for really hot blood. 
On Genie Ear, we never say no, so I found a way to get the blood. The second vampire asked for really cold blood, so I got that for her as well. But the third vampire just asked me for hot water. Super confused, I asked her, don't vampires only drink blood? She takes out a use pad and says, I'm making tea. Wow, what a beautiful house! Why wasn't this sold in 20 years? As the realtor, I have a responsibility to disclose that over 20 years ago, a family of five was brutally murdered and the murderer chopped them up into pieces and ate them before killing himself. Uh, residents have claimed that this property is haunted, but who believes in haunted houses anyways, yeah. right? I guess that happened so long ago, but oh my God, what? Playing around. Just think of her as like a friendly neighborhood spider, you know? Just always hanging around. Yeah, no, I don't think I want this house. <laughs> Listen, take the house today and I'll knock off $50,000 from the purchase price. I'll take it! Sugar babes? Hello? Hey, is Johnny there? No, he's not here right now. Who's this? Oh, this is Chris, his girlfriend. <laughs> Girlfriend? What are you talking about? This is his wife speaking? Oh, hell no. We've been dating for the last eight months. Excuse me? We've been married for the last six years. You have got to be kidding me. You tell Johnny I'm not helping him pay for his mortgage anymore, okay? Tell him I want everything I bought him back, like his Tesla and his product gift certificate I just gave him. And you can tell him I'm removing his ass off my Netflix account. I'll tell Johnny you called, okay? Uh, welcome to the family, bye! <gasps> that was close. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call the center town in the I'm going to call the center town in the I'm going to call the center town in the upper. I'm going to call the center town in the Hey, how was your first time flying alone? Good. Were the flight attendants nice to you? Yes, very nice. Good. Can you let me talk to one of them? Because I just want to let them know I'm just going to be a little late picking you up. No, they busy right now. Busy? Doing what? They're supposed to be next to you at all times. Um, they talking to the police. Police? Is everything okay? What, what, what's that sound? That's the alarm. There's fire peoples and police and security running around. Oh my god, oh my god. Don't move! I'm almost there! I'm gonna come in to get you, okay? No, you can't come in. The airport is on lockdown. Why? They're looking for someone right now. Who? Me. Hey, I have to be on this flight. I'm sorry, sir. This flight has been cancelled, and I'm currently in the process of rebooking all 200 passengers. Okay, then rebook me right now. I'll be happy to help you, sir, but I need to help everyone else that's been waiting in line here first. If you don't mind just getting in line when it's your turn, I'm sure we can figure something out for you. <laughs> I'm in first class? Do you have any idea who I am? Gentlemen, we have a passenger here at gate 62 who doesn't know who he is. If you can help identify him, please come to gate 62. <laughs> you! I'm sorry, sir. You need to get in line for that, too. Miss, can you please hand me that glass on the floor? I'm not done with that. We're actually landing soon, so I just need to collect all the glass cups. Did you not hear me? I'm not finished with this. Are you able to finish it now so I can just take the glass? No, I'm not able. I don't understand why this is such a big deal. Well, it's for the safety of uh, yourself and for all the other passengers. In case of a rough landing, we don't want to glass flying everywhere. I'm going to guarantee you that that's never going to happen. I'm a frequent flyer and you're the first person to ever give me a problem. Okay, how about this? I'll just go to economy. I'm going to grab your plastic cup and then you can just transfer your drink into that. Forget it. I'm done having this conversation with you. Just let me just figure this out.
Here's your cup back. What? Please don't breed. Bro, 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 check her out. It's an off-duty flight attendant. She's cute. I'm gonna go pick her up. What are you gonna say? Bro, come on. I know every single airline slogan out there. I'm just gonna whip out the one that she works for and then impress her. What airline does she work for? I mean, I can't really tell, but I got this. Wish me luck. Good luck. Hey, uh, did you just finish making the sky the best place on earth? No. Uh, fly the friendly skies. Or come fly with me. Come fly, come fly away. The friendliest name in flight? No. Uh, world class worldwide. Fly the American way? I don't think it's catch our smile. Virgin Atlantic, more experience than our name suggests. Excellence in plight. What the fuck do you want? Spirit Airlines! Genie. So, is this your very last flight? Yep. And you got scheduled for an airport standby? Yeah. That sucks. Eh, it is what it is. So technically, I have the power right now to send you anywhere in the world for your very last shift. Your glasses are so nice. Thanks. Well, I've decided to send you to Johannesburg, South Africa. Okay. You do know that the World Cup is being held there, right? Cool. And Emirates Airlines is the official sponsor for the World Cup. Okay. And Emirates gets box seats for every game. Okay, congrats to Emirates. I don't know. Oh my God. You're Emirates! The crew that flies to South Africa gets box seats to the World Cup game! What did he say? Enjoy your last flight. Only when I lie in bed on my own And I wake up and I see your name on my phone uh, 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 Hey, hey, kid. Uh, you, you can't run around like this. It's dangerous. Where, where are your parents? Go back to your seat, okay? Don't tell my kid what to do. Ma'am, you can't have your child running around the aircraft unsupervised. It's very dangerous. He's a kid. Kids run around. Ma'am, it's actually for your child's safety. I know the seatbelt sign is turned off, but we do get unexpected turbulence sometimes, and if that happens, your kid's gonna go flying. I've flown thousands of times, and I can assure you that it's never been a problem. If you don't care, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Can I please see, I don't know, makeup, skincare, perfume? These are our most popular products. So you should definitely check these ones out. They're very, very good. Uh, we also have some of these. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not supposed to open them? Oh, that's nice. Can I actually see what makeup you have there? Yes, we have lots of makeup if you wanted to see Ooh. them. Oh, look at this wand. It's see nice. Them. See them, not use them. What a them. nice color. It looks different on the skin, though. So let's take a look. Oh, it's nice. That's not a tester. Do you have any perfume? Yes, we have perfume as well, but you can't really smell it. <laughs> oh, oh, no, not, not, not what I like. No. Okay, look, I'm so sorry, but there is no sampling of our product. I think you misunderstood me. I'm buying everything. You, you want to buy the entire cart? <laughs> You're flying with us. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you for everything. Don't forget to take your duty-free items you purchased. Oh, this is all I wanted. You can just like throw the rest away or whatever. Bye. <gasps> hey, can I take these? Well, nothing in this manual says we can't take a passenger's trash. Yeah! Hello, welcome aboard. No. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Yes. Uh, can I help you with anything? Please take my coat and store it laying flat. Oh. Uh, unfortunately, there's nowhere on the plane I can store it like that, but uh, you can fold it and you can put it in the overhead bins. F fold this? Fold 
this? My fur coat? Oh, okay. Well, I can check first class and see if there's any space in the coat closet there. And hang this with other coats? No. Do you know how much this costs? What you're going to do is lay it flat in first class seats, okay? I saw some empty seats up there. I'm sorry, we can't give your coat a seat in first class, but you can put it in the overhead bins or underneath the seat in front of you. You are so rude and incompetent. Get me your supervisor. Hello, I am the purser of the plane. What my colleague here has just told you is our procedure. Your coat has now delayed the whole plane. You can either choose to put your coat away or you and your coat may leave the plane. <clears throat> Miss, hi. Would you be a doll and put my bag up for me? Thanks. Let me help you find some space. No, no, I need for you to put my bag up for me. You see the bag is really heavy and I don't want to hurt my back. Oh, if your bag is too heavy for you, most likely it's too heavy for me. Isn't this your job? Actually, our job is to ensure the safety of everyone on board. Yeah, customer service is your job too. And as a paying customer, I'm extremely upset right now that you are not assisting me with my bag. You are absolutely right. Let me get someone to assist you with your bag. Uh, Lucy, Lucy, could you grab me a luggage tag? I'm just going to offload an overweight bag. Oh, don't worry about it. I got it. Hello, what can I get you for dinner? Yes, what does the chicken come with? The chicken comes with rice, broccoli, carrots, and peas. Okay, I'll take the chicken, but without the peas. Our meals are actually pre-made. We can't customize it like that. Oh, but, but I can't eat peas. Do you have an allergy? Yes. Okay, then I recommend the lamb. There's no peas in that. Whoa, no, I can't eat lamb. Okay, then how about get the chicken and just not eat the peas? I don't understand. You should be able to accommodate special meals. If you needed a special meal, you just had to order it before the flight. <laughs> Maybe I'll just starve to death. Okay, that's your choice. No, wait, I'll take the chicken. Sir, I need you to sit down, please. What? No, 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 no. I'm not leaving hide you. I need you to sit down. Oh, don't come to me. Go to your seat. Go to your seat, it's very dangerous. What are you doing? Don't get your bag. Oh no, we're landing. Sir, sir, sit down, sit down. Oh, oh, ah! Hello, may I please confirm the age of your child? Hi, my daughter just turned two. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, all children over the age of two are required to wear a mask for the entire flight. Oh, I know. Um, I, I tried, but she just keeps crying and taking it off. Due to the severity of the current pandemic, there are no exceptions. She needs to wear a mask. Well, what do you want me to do? I can't reason with her. She's a baby. And if I just keep it on her face and hold it, she'll suffocate and she'll just scream bloody murder. So what do you want me to do? You will both be removed from the flight if she doesn't wear a mask. You're going to kick us off the flight? She's a baby. What happens if we don't want to go? If you don't, I need to call security. You're going to call security on me and my baby? No. No. I'm not moving. <laughs> security. Girls, hottie alert. 28. Let's go. Sir, can I get you something? Not you. Okay, let me know if you need something, okay? Ah! Mother! <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just wondering when you're going to move us? Is this not your seat? Usually on all my flights, I get two seats because I have a child. Sometimes we do that as a courtesy for parents, uh, but unfortunately, this is a full flight. What? No, I need two seats. Well, you paid for one seat, so... So what? Pardon me? You expect me to sit like this for six hours? If you wanted two seats, you need to pay for two seats? This is a child that doesn't even make any sense. 
Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 16, let's go! So we're flying to all of these countries in all different time zones, so how do we deal with jet lag? A lot of crew members use melatonin, but I personally don't like popping pills like candy. This is what I did to battle jet lag. If I arrive in a country in the evening, it's very easy. I just go to sleep right away, and then I get to tour in the morning. This is the hard part. If I arrive in a country in the morning, I will not go to sleep. I would check into the hotel, get changed, and go out right away so that I don't fall asleep in the hotel. And then I usually return around 5 or 6 and then fall asleep then. This one time I had a really long and difficult flight that when I came home I slept for 30 hours and then when I woke up I didn't know what day or time it was. And you know what? I really feel like I might have died. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 17, let's go. So of course we get free flights when we're working, but what about when we're not? We get to fly anywhere in the world with our industry discount tickets. For Emirates, we have what we call ID90 tickets. We get to fly on Emirates or any of their partners at 90% off the ticket price, unlimited. But there's a catch, these are standby tickets. So if the flight is full, you're not getting on. If you want a guaranteed seat, you can also do that by purchasing an ID50 ticket, which gives you 50% off. Oh yeah, and Emirates gives you one free ticket a year to fly home for free. Excuse me, may I please get a coffee? Of course, cream and sugar? Just sugar, thanks. Here's your coffee and some sugar. No sugar, I need a sweet and low. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll get that for you right away. Here's your sweet and low. I need two packets. Man, my coffee's gonna get cold. Oh, I'll get that for you right away. Here's another pack for you. Where's my stir stick? I gave you one earlier. I dropped it last time when you brought me the wrong sugar. Pay attention. I'll get that for you right away. I knew it, it's cold now. Bring me another one. Oh, what are you doing, babe? Where is it? Ah, found it. <gasps> oh my God, yes, of course I'll marry you. What? Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, the couple over there just got engaged. No, this is my Groove Life ring. Your Groove Life ring? They have really cute designs for girls too. I'll buy you one. Okay. What do you mean I need to demonstrate how to put on a seatbelt? You take one strap, take the other strap, put it together. Show me in the job description where it says, must clean human feces. What do you mean we don't get reception in the air? I, I need to tell Britney Spears that I'm trying to save her. 10 more hours left. Listen, Karen was it? It's called airplane mode and clearly we're on an airplane. So just do it, okay? It took too long, it took too long, it took too long for you to call back. You wanna do it with me? As we prepare for departure, please put away all of your large electronic devices and put your phone on airplane mode. Can you please explain why we need to do that? It's to ensure that the phone signals don't interfere with the plane's navigational system. So you're telling me that my worthless iPhone 4 can mess with this multi-million dollar plane? <coughs> oh, sorry. I need to get some water. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Oma! Oma! I wear. Oma, I got the job with Emirates. What? Emirates too? Yes, Emirates. Remember I applied to be a flight attendant last month? Oh, Oma, I got to be a flight attendant last month. Oma, who cares? I'm literally moving to Dubai, to the Middle East, in like two weeks. For like years. Maybe forever. I don't know. What? Two weeks? Yeah. If you go, you go fast. Why two weeks? Thank you so much for watching him, okay? It's just gonna be 30 minutes. It's just an emergency at work and I have to go. You know I know nothing about babies, right? He pooed, he peed, he's fed, he's good to go, okay? I swear he'll be no problems, okay? Thank you, I love you, I'll be back soon. Okay then. Hey, Baba! Imo loves you! Doo -doo. Hmm? What are you doing? Stop that. Stop it! Oh, hell no! Nuh-uh. No! It's okay, Imo's got you. 
Musashi. Travel tips you might not know about. Let's go! If you are flying within, to, or from the United States and you were involuntarily bumped off your flight due to an overbooking, don't accept the voucher! Not only are the airlines required to find your alternative flight, but depending on the length of the delay, you are entitled to cash. For domestic flights, you are entitled up to $1,350 cash based on your one-way ticket price. For international flights, the compensation is the same, but the delayed times are different. Go get that cash. Yeah, 우리 upgrade 할수 있나 좀 물어봐. 엄마, I'm not a flight attendant anymore. I can't get free upgrades. 네 친구들 아니야? I don't know all the flight attendants in the world. 좀 물어봐. 모르잖아. Okay, okay, I'll go ask. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Sorry, 엄마, they said no. Ah, what? I'm going to Hello, can I get you anything to drink? Yes, uh, what you have? We have coffee, tea, juices, soda, alcoholic beverages. Ooh. Uh, Puri? Oh, it's all free. Uh, I have a Sprite today. Uh, white wine today. Uh, a vodka. Today, <laughs> Oma, you don't even drink. Yeah, I'm shopping. 남자 사진인데? Oma, I'm just kidding. I'm on EME Hive. 무슨 비디오 게임이야? No, it's how we meet new people and date nowadays. Wow, 신기해. 엄마도 한번 보자. Ooh, wow, good. I'm like gross! Don't say stuff like that! Yeah, Yes! Yes! I'm stop! So yesterday I posted a video regarding what it's really like to be cabin crew and uh, this photo was part of it. It's literally a passenger that's taped and strapped to his seat. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Actually, this is not funny. I'm laughing because like people can be so crazy. So this guy decided to drink all of his duty-free alcohol, which you cannot do on the plane, got super drunk, started to strangle the passenger next to him, and then started screaming at the top of his lungs that the plane is going to crash. So yeah, cabin crew are trained and allowed to detain passengers this way uh, until we can land and get the proper authorities to help us out uh, in case they're being violent and stuff like that. So yeah, true story. Many of you had some questions regarding this clip of me cleaning a toilet on a plane. So most airlines will have a cleaning crew on the ground, but in the air, it's cabin crew's job. If you were ever planning to be cabin crew, I'm going to tell you right now, this is nothing! At least this person made an effort to try to get it into the toilet. Ask any cabin crew, sometimes they miss it all together. All over the floor, all over the walls. Don't ask me how, I don't know! True story, my worst ever, ever. You know the lid of the toilet? Well that was down and someone took a huge shit on top of it, okay? It was on top, a huge pile rolling over to the sides. There was no way I was going to clean that, so yeah, we put it out of service. As cabin crew, sometimes passengers leave us gifts. These gifts are so thoughtful. Instead of peeing in their seats, they put it in a bag for us. Oh. Some passengers get a bit creative and yeah, pee in a bottle. Passengers really just don't give a shit and go. <laughs> oh yeah, and I also got peed on before. <laughs> Can I help you with, oh. <laughs> Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 20, let's go! In order to handle all types of emergencies, cabin crew is required to take security training. There will be some situations where we need to restrain passengers because they've become really violent and we are trained to use this as a last resort. Sometimes we even get help from other passengers. 
but this will only happen as a last resort. I know one day of security training doesn't sound like enough. We will do whatever is necessary to protect our passengers and our fellow crew. Also, I don't need training because Estoy Loka. Sorry to interrupt whatever you're doing, but there's a passenger choking another passenger in there? What? I'll save you! Different type of flight attendants! Let's go! Here's the drink you asked for. A water? Yes, of course I can get that for you. Where are we flying to again? Can you give 20C a blanket? Were you always on this flight? Yes. In the unlikely event that a baby is born on board. What happens to the baby? Some babies are granted citizenship in the country that they are born in. Some babies are granted citizenship in the airspace that they are born in. And some babies will get the citizenship of one of their birth parents. So there is no right answer. It's just the laws of each country. But will this baby get free flights for life? Not really. There have been a handful of instances where airlines have given away free flights, but most airlines are not going to promote this because think about it, it's super dangerous. Trust me when I say you do not want me delivering your baby. <laughs> okay, so none of you guys are going to do this, so I'm going to do it, okay? We all took the same training class. It's going to be fine. Hi, you're doing great, okay? Um, yeah, so I think it's time to push, so we're going to push. Can you guys like, okay. all right, ready? All right, push, push, push. Excuse me, can you please watch my daughter five minutes I go bathroom? Oh yeah, of course, no problem. Can I play with your makeup, please? Yeah, show her, but we need to ask your mom first. We don't need to because my mom say creativity is all about inventing, experimenting, growing, taking risks, making mistakes, and having fun. Oh, wow. Well, sure. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. <gasps> She did it. Chica. What was that? Oh. Granola? Some good stuff. Some good stuff. Some good stuff. Here are some items that you can ask for on your next long haul flight. Not all airlines carry it and not all cabin crew will give it to you. So remember to be nice. And it never hurts to ask. Super stylish airplane socks. I think a lot of you need this. Earplugs! Toothbrush toothpaste! Ladies, sometimes it's an emergency. We do have feminine products on board. We sometimes carry children's amenity kits to keep them entertained during their flight. Many of you have asked this as well. If you want a second meal, just wait until we finish her service. And then most likely if we have meals left over, we are more than happy to give you a second. If you're watching this right now, you, me, besties, for life. Miss, you need to move me. This crying baby is driving me crazy. <laughs> Isn't that your own baby? Yeah. I noticed you're traveling alone. Oh no, I'm traveling with my friends, but they're actually sitting in business. I just couldn't afford it. <laughs> but yeah, they wanted to sit and call me with me, and I was just like, oh no, I just didn't want to be that person. Oh, um... You know what? The purser's actually on break for another two hours. Why don't you just go to business? Just hang out with your friends for a little bit, but don't tell anybody, okay? I'll get in big trouble. Oh my God, thank you. We giving away free business class seats now? No. 
That's not what I just saw, though. It's just a special situation, and it doesn't really concern you. Well, my situation is that I'm uncomfortable, so butt me up. No, sorry, I can't do that. Oh, but I believe you can. Or would you like for me to tell your purser and lose your job? Captain, I have a drunk passenger threatening my life. Permission to restrain. Oh, shouldn't you be at your job? Yeah, so I'm supposed to get paid seven cents per newspaper, but I'm paying someone else four cents per newspaper to deliver it for me, so then I get three cents per newspaper without having to do anything. Flight tip for plugged ears in the plane, let's go! These are some of the common ways to unplug your ears on a flight. Chewing gum, yawning, drinking something, taking a decongestant before the flight, and also nasal spray. And if none of those work, here's a flight tip that I use on every single flight and I know other crew members use this as well. However, there are risks to this technique, so if you do not do this properly, you can damage your eardrums. Also guys, remember, I'm not a doctor, so if there are any EMT doctors out there that watch this, maybe you can duet this or comment and let us know what the risks are if we use this technique. This is what you do. You're going to plug your nose, close your mouth, and blow slowly out of your nose until you hear a pop. That's it. Hello, welcome. Hey, psst. Why does everyone keep bowing to me? It kind of feels a little weird. Oh, it's a sign of respect. Koreans like to bow for a lot of things. For example, hello, goodbye, thank you, I'm sorry. Another shot, please. Bing! Finally. Oh. Mm. Excuse me, please don't recline your seat. Why would the plane have the option to recline if I'm not allowed to recline? There's not enough space back here. It's really uncomfortable. And they'll make me more comfortable if I did. Lady, what is your problem? Just stretching my legs because I have no space. <sighs> Excuse me, this armrest is for me? What do you mean the armrest is for you? Everybody knows that seat gets the aisle, your seat gets the window, and my seat gets the armrests. Oh, is that right? Well, show me the rule book that says that. It's the rule book of courtesy and common sense. Oh! Oops. Excuse me, sir. You need to put your laptop away. We're landing soon. That rule is stupid. Sir, it's for your safety. Don't worry. I'll be fine, okay? Sir, if you don't care about your safety, that's totally up to you. What I do care about is in case of a rough landing, your laptop will smash the face of the person next to you. Where are the 20 meals that were here? I gave it out already. How did you give them out if I have the vegetarian list right here? Huh? M! It was labeled special meals! Yeah, I gave it to the passengers that were really nice and, and I thought was special. Oh no. What do we do now? Just pick out the chicken from the regular meals. That's disgusting. You can't touch people's food. Do you want to deal with 20 hangry passengers? Call this chicken picking. <laughs> Where's the food? 
our Captain Eric and our First Officer Vanessa would like to first thank you for choosing to... Excuse me, did you say Vanessa? Yes, First Officer Vanessa. Our pilot's a woman. Yes, Vanessa's a woman. No, I don't feel safe having a woman fly this plane. She has over a thousand hours in flight experience. She's more than capable of getting you there safely. No, you need to do something about this. This is not right. Certainly, sir. Ah! My apologies for the delay. I was just taking out the trash. How to be a flight attendant's favorite passenger, part two, let's go! During boarding and you find your seat, some of you have the urge to open up your carry-on at that time to get some miscellaneous items. Before you do, turn around. If you see a hundred people waiting behind you, hurry your ass up or get out of the way. Thank you. As flight travel starts to reopen, we're going to have to start dealing with security lines again. There's a lot of indicators I can share with you to get through these lines a lot quicker, but I'm going to share with you the easiest one. Follow the business passengers. If they're wearing a suit, carry a briefcase, or look like they're going straight from the airport to a business meeting, you're going to want to stand behind them. They've done this a hundred times. They are quick. Not only that, they've already scanned the lines to see which one is the fastest. Hey! Who did that? Jinya! You're Hi, Emily! Hey, Emily! Thank you, Emily! Hey, 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 What is your emergency? Uh. How can I help you? Good. Is there okay. is there a grown up there I can talk to? I'm fine. I don't need to tell you something. Okay. What is your name? Lene. Oh, Lene. What do you want to tell me, Lene? We went to Disney on Ice. You went to Disney on Ice. Yes. Okay, can I talk to your mommy or your daddy? No, they're busy. I know they're busy, but I need to talk to one of them, please. No, uh, I'm, I'm busy, too. I'm going to play you, so I just wanted to tell you something, but bye. Yeah, I need some help. What's the matter? With my mouth. With your mouth? No, with my mouth. I have to do it. I have, I have takeaways. Oh, you gotta do the takeaways? Yeah. Alright, what's the problem? Um, you have to help me with my math. Okay. Tell me what the math is. Um, oh, here's one. Five take away five. Five take away five. And how much do you think that is? Five. My dad has a gold tooth. My dad has diabetes. What are you doing drying my son's underwear with the AC? Why? Because it's wet? He had an accident. Oh, chill out. I wash it in the toilet. You didn't bring an extra pair in your carry-on, maybe? If I did, I wouldn't be doing this now, would I? Uh, maybe your son can go without underwear just for the next couple hours? Ew, no. That's so gross and uncomfortable for him. What's gross and uncomfortable is you having the entire plane inhaling your son's poopery. That was rude. Hey! Whee! I'm filing a complaint. What is your name? Hmm. My name's Lindsay! Poison, poison, poison. Tales from the skies, let's go! 
Ma'am, are you okay? Can I get you anything? Oh yeah, I just couldn't find the puke bag. If you need it, the puke bags are located in the seat pocket in front of you. Oh, I, I didn't see that, but it's okay. Here. Are you trying to give me vomit? Yeah, can you take this? We will be arriving in New York shortly, where the local time is 5 p.m. You mean 3 p.m. The flight was only three hours. There's a time zone difference, ma'am. So we're traveling into the future? No, we're just in a different time zone. Well, every second of every day, we're advancing into our own future. So if we're in their future, when they're advancing into their future, we have forwarded to their future, right? Bitch, I don't know. Damn. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, your dog actually needs to remain in the carrier in the seat in front of you. What? Oh, <laughs> this is not a dog. Ma'am, I know that's a dog with the wig on. <laughs> Please, all animals need to be in the carrier unless you have proof that that's a service animal. Well, I see other passengers acting like animals and I don't see you locking them up. Oh, oh. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe sometimes, but uh, these are humans. <laughs> That's a dog, so... For the last time, this is not a dog. Are you a dog? Huh? Are you a dog? <coughs> See? Wait a second. You understand me? <coughs> You're cute. You can stay. You can stay. Can one of you guys please do duty free? I'm so tired. Mm -mm. We're all tired. It's your turn, okay? Duty free, anyone? Duty free. Hi, over here. Um, so what is your favorite fragrance? Yes, sir. Would that be perfume or cologne? Perfume. Certainly, sir. Well, uh, this is actually one of my favorite scents. It's uh, very light and fresh and just makes you feel... Great. That That's great. I'll take it. You keep it. Uh, part, part of... And how many other crew members do you have working on this flight today? Uh, there's like, I don't know, like four, 14 of us? Great, I'll take 13 more fragrances, just have the crew pick whatever they want, and then just let me know how much it is. Oh, no, no, sir, we, we cannot accept that. Please, it's just to show my appreciation. I know how hard you all work. You have always been so kind to me on all of my flights. Please, just enjoy it. Thank you so much. So I love Egyptian documentaries, and I swear I was an Egyptian queen. Here's proof. So this documentary on YouTube has this coffin of an Egyptian queen. <laughs> I was reborn. <laughs> set, go. Stop. <laughs> set, go. dog actually needs to remain in the carrier in the seat in front of you. What? Oh, <laughs> this is not a dog. Ma'am, I know that's a dog with the wig on. <laughs> Please, all animals need to be in the carrier unless you have proof that that's a service animal. Well, I see other passengers acting like animals and I don't see you locking them up. Oh, oh. I know it's hard to believe sometimes, but uh, these are humans. That's a dog, so... For the last time, this is not a dog. Are you a dog? Huh? Are you a dog? <coughs> See? Wait a second. You understand me? <coughs> You're cute. You can stay. 